Hey guys, Monster Mike here, and today's video, I want to give you guys a house tour. I'm going to focus mainly on my Monsteras. And no, I am not going to cover my big Thai constellation in this video. I think I'm going to save that for another video. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Let's get started with the house tour. This is my living room area. This right here is Max. Max is special because he is my very first ever Monstera. So, and uh, he gets low to medium light here. So his leaves don't get too big, but you know, he seems happy. So uh, I'm superstitious. Uh, if they seem happy, I will tend to leave them in their spot. Um, I hate to move them. So that's Max. I have a large Thai constellation. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorite Thai constellations. I just, it's so hard to get the leaves to get big. Um, so, this is a beauty. Yes. I brought out my very first ever Thai constellation that I got. Um, this is a very special Thai constellation to me because I got this from Austin. Uh, I live in Dallas. And uh, when I went down to visit um, the Tillery Plant Company, they had this tie waiting for me. And I tell you what, there is nothing like the feeling of, of your first tie constellation, like the first time seeing it and, and, and touching it. It's, it's, it's amazing. And yeah, this is my superstar Monstera Addisonia. Um, it likes to be watered from the bottom here. Um, yes, yellow leaves are normal. It, you know, it, it loses leaves here and there. Um, some of the browning is, I believe, is due to inconsistent watering. Uh, sometimes I might go a day or two too long uh, without water, and he kind of likes to be on the wetter side, so um, he drinks a lot of water. I'm watering this guy probably about three times a week from the bottom. And he's trying to climb out the window and leave. There it is, my superstar Addison. There's some elbows here. And this is the elbow experiment I started earlier uh, last, uh, sorry, end of last week. Um, this is Newt versus Super Thrive and Rooting Hormone versus Oxygen. So um, I will update the results uh, probably next week. This one right here is a Monstera Deliciosa. This one was special to me. I waited nearly three months uh, before I bought it. I noticed that one day it was sitting in the corner of a nursery, uh, a local nursery, and months and months went by, nobody bought it. It had a weird shape to it. Um, it was in the ground in the corner. And uh, one day I was like, well, if it's still there, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. So I got it and I'm very thankful it was still there. And it is my biggest and most mature um, Monstera. I give it support and lots of lights. You, just, you can see the grow lights here. It gets 12 hours from the grow lights daily and it's right next to this window right here too. So um, in order for you to get bigger leaves, you gotta give it some support. You gotta give it good soil, a lot of nutrients, fertilizer, and obviously plenty of lights. Oh. Here is my uh, large Thai constellation. It's pretty big, but like I said, I'm not gonna cover this too much right now, but there it is. And At the top of the stairs, we have my Monstera dubia. I love this plant. This plant is unique. It, it, will, it needs support, but the leaves will start off small and then as it, really clings onto that support the leaves get bigger and then I bought it so I had to re-establish it here so you can see this period of small leaves and now that it's getting established again the leaves are continuing to get bigger and plenty of space to grow there that is my dubia this is big text big text is my monstera uh, experiment that I started last summer. He basically is an outdoors Monstera. And so he's doing very well indoors, but can't wait to get him back outside. Um, and this will, this, these were bought at the same time. 
this one and that one so as you can see this one had perfect indoor conditions kind of a medium to uh, to bright light but still it's being really really outperformed by big techs who gets outdoor humid Texas conditions there's a size difference and over here we have my prized Monstera Aria this has the yellow variegation on it, not the white one. And it's rooting right now in water. And I think it's got another leaf coming up right there. And this guy is also in water. This is a Monstera Deliciosa variegata. Um, this leaf is tattered, but that's just the way it came and this right here though makes it all worth it this is a brand new baby leaf coming in um, and I think we might be working on a third one right here so this is definitely in water I'm going to leave it back in the window I have a couple other special monsteras here this one is the monstera pinaportita I love this guy. I love the leaves. They look kind of like a Monstera Peru, but um, the leaves are way bigger, and also they will actually finish straight as uh, they get more mature. So, trying to give it the ideal conditions so I can get some fenestrations on this Monstera Pinapartita. And then another one I want to cover, the last one I want to cover is. The Monstera Stelliana. This right here is also a beautiful Monstera. Um, it has beautiful variegation. It can come in white variegation or yellow uh, variegation, but that's pretty much it right there. It has a nice leaf right there and some new growth coming in. So that's the Monstera Stelliana. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that house tour. I am sorry I didn't cover my big Thai constellation. Um, I was, there was also a few other ones that I didn't have a chance to cover, but um, you guys have a good idea of, of my Monstera. And also, um, the keys to having bigger leaves on your Monstera. Remember, it's support, it's light, and of course, you need proper fertilizer and nutrients as well. So. Um, Stick with those three keys that will help you get your um, help you achieve your goal of uh, bigger leaves on your monstera. And um, thanks for tuning in. You guys can follow me on uh, Instagram, monstera underscore Mike, and also you can also like and subscribe here. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.